I want everybody to tell how did you think of that person, these different people, when y'all first walked in the door. Now here we are on Friday, but on Monday, well actually it was Tuesday because of Martin Luther King, so we had you 10 hour days, don't remind me. Uh, he said, what was your perspective? So everybody began to talk. I thought you was a nerd. I thought, I thought you was this. And then you find out a lot of people ain't the way you thought they was until you yes. get to know them. That's right. So then the instructor, he went around the room, he began to say what he thought. He's like, I don't know if it's a, a blessing or a curse. He's like, but I just know. I just be right. I know how people. He's like, you, I know you You screamed and cussed your kids out when you, were, when you came to work. And she did. She was something else. <laughs> I knew you this and that. And then he came to me. To my, oh, I knew you was real. I knew you were real. I was like, what? I ain't told nobody nothing, all we just chilling. And they told me, uh-huh, all the time, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I ain't telling you how you know that about me. I said, I am a minister. That's what I am. I am. And I said, what? And he told me, he's like, you know how you see you, how you carry yourself, how you act. And I didn't know people paying attention that That's much. Right. And at the end of class, he, he, he called me Rail. I mean, every time I come on, come on, Rail. Read it, Rail. And, and then he, and, and, and I guess he, they try to make little jokes or whatever. About, you know, he told my son, yeah, he called me Dilla D. Dilla D, what you got in your bag? I bet you got a Bible. I said, I might have my concordance in there too. You better leave me alone. And, and they all laugh. And, and I found out people are, you know, will get to know you. And when they found out I was ministers, and I don't know why everywhere you go, when people find out you're a minister, they want to start talking about God around you. Ah. you know what I'm about? Come on, ooh, thank you, Jesus. I'm like, I heard that. Oh, yeah. Come on, God is good. Yeah. All the time, all the time. God, hey, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the cussing things now. But after they cuss everybody, I don't want to talk about God. I'm just, but they do. Them jokes have some foul mouths sometimes. But, but I learned dealing with people. You can just be who you are. That's right. Yeah. And you don't allow people to change who you are. All right, now tell it, boy. Sometimes all you gotta do is just be nice to folk. Yeah. And people like it. And through that, I got how many people they all got cars that I had in my pocket from the Christ Church of Universal. Man, I want to come to your church. They, and this is what they do most of them. They get in the secret when we in a corner. Hey man, what church you go to? <laughs> oh, I said Christ Church of Universal Love. And, and they say, man, I, I would like to, I would like to, I like to go to your church. So I hand out about five, six, seven cars by the end of the week. With, with, with the, the church logo, and they, I'm looking forward to see them coming. Even the, uh, and the one guy that nobody would even thought was like a, a kind of big, um, not big, but he's like a kind of country boy, you know, with the big beard and all that kind of stuff and like that. And, we, and everybody was just kind of scared of him when he first came to class. And, and, and then he was like, he was like scared. He's like, oh, I thought Mike. Everybody thought he was so mean because he's just quiet. He don't usually look like that. <laughs> Everything he said, he was like, yeah. He just talked like that, like, I just don't care, I will knock you out if you mess with me. That's just how he put, you know, had that persona about it. Everybody like, and then he the man one start flocking to me. He oh, right. you gonna come on, Billy, can I study with you? I'm like, come on, man, yeah, we study. Because we, thank God I passed all my exams. Well, 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 well. Pass, pass, pass. On yesterday, it was a fine exam, thank God for that. Some people didn't make it. But, um, Glory but I just come to say that God will put a persona on you. Yeah. And you don't have to be super spiritual. You don't have to walk around uh -huh. speaking in tongues in front yeah. of you. you can, but you have to learn to know what to participate in and what to just step out nice and easy. That ain't me. You only have to stay now. Just mm, keep moving. Yeah. And God will begin to allow people to flock to you. Yeah. And on Friday, before I left, I had about four or five of the women in the line and we prayed. Yeah. And they said, Miss, I want you to just pray for me. Just pray for me. They, they was like a couple of ladies, they had rolled back and forth. And uh, they asked me to ride with them. I don't know why I'm saying that. But those people, they just, these ladies, they don't like the gold bridge. So they go all the way to Tampa Road. And I was like, oh no, I'm just driving. Y'all good. We ain't carpooling. But uh, <laughs> we prayed, and that lady 
and one of them failed the test. Well, two of them failed the test. But after that, they were so discouraged, and we prayed and we prayed. And by the end of that, they was talking about. It. I told about the Bible. They were supposed to be coming, but I just thank God for what He's put on the inside because I remember time in school. Man, I was scared. I don't know what you're gonna think about me if I tell you about Jesus. You know, they might look at me different. But when I made up in my mind, I said, God, you know, you have not given me the spirit of fear. And I had to fight the fear about, and, and, and because my natural reaction, I'm a more quiet type, shy type person. So that's, that's just me. Now, some of y'all won't make me have no problem. And then, then the funniest thing to me, yeah, this is just so funny. It was like the, the biggest, I ain't going to say devils, but the, the one with the lie being so loud. You can't have them right. You come out, oh, thank you, Jesus. In class. <laughs> and then before you know, you outside, you cussing and smoking. God will put a persona on you that will bless you. And, and just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they took a stand. Yes. Yes. And I want you to understand, God will never tell you to take a stand that he won't be standing with you. God will never tell you to do something that he'll leave you hanging. I don't care what it is, and a lot of times, you need this code. <laughs> God will never put more on you than you can bear. Amen. And so I want to encourage, because I know we get a lot of preaching this week. Amen. And ain't no sense of me coming up and just trying to overdo it. But if I don't leave nothing else with y'all, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego took a stand. And they humbled themselves before God. And they have gotten one of the biggest miracles in, in Bible history. Yeah. Being thrown. I know we use this as just talking, but can you imagine? They Real said they heated the fire seven times harder when they refused. See, the devil going to bring up a tactic to make this. He's going to bring up the heat. He's going to turn up the heat when you try to do right. When you try to make a decision, he's going to turn up the heat. But God said, if you will cling on to me, if you will cling on to my word, if you will hold on to your value, hold on to your standards, And I say, God, I feel the pressure of these people. Jesus. There's times I feel the pressure. You're going to feel some pressure sometimes. You're going to feel the heat. Ain't no sense in us act like it's not, it's not existing. It's going to be there sometimes. You're going to feel pressure and heat from people. Yeah. And there's times I have to get to myself and I have to literally talk myself, tell myself, tell my flesh what God says. I begin to bless people and not curse them. Because you know we can, when we get mad, we can curse somebody quick. And not necessarily using a curse word or a cuss word. We can curse them by talking about them. They just so, ooh, they get on my nerve. I can't stand They always say, yeah, they may be. But Father, in Jesus' name, you say you'll be my strength. Strength in my mind right now. Y'all don't know how much I do this. This ain't nothing that I'm just talking. I do this stuff. And I know it works. I've done it even in the training classes over these last two weeks. Because the pressure will get kind of hard. And it's like, if you don't, and I found myself going through pressure and remembering times I went through pressure and I didn't consult God. Yeah. I tried to think it out myself. And it's like that pressure overcame me, you know, feeling all, um, yeah. you don't even want to do it and you don't want to go through. Because you're going to use the power that's on the inside. All right. All right. But I found out when I go through some pressure and I begin to get in my secret place. When you enter something and you're going through something, I heard the man say, if I can just make it to the next exit. Yes. And my thing is, if I can just make it in my secret place. Yes. If I can make it to my secret place for me and God. Yes. If I can just talk to my daddy. Yes. I know how we, when you little, I'm going to tell my daddy. Yes. And I'm going to the kids, look, you know, my they know daddy going to handle it. Yes. And that's how God wants us to be. Yes. Keep messing with me. I'm going to tell my daddy. Yes. Huh? I'm going to tell my daddy. 
My dad is powerful. You know how they brag. My dad is strong. My dad will beat your dad now. <laughs> but you know our kids talk 